Okay, this is Samaya coming back to you again with part three of that Sudoku puzzle. Remember I told you about? And so here is the finished product here. And you can go back and kind of check yours if you like. I kind of took my time and continue to explain as I completed this as puzzles. But for the sake of uh, YouTube, here is the complete puzzle of the Sudoku. This is a Japanese puzzle, Japanese, British. The word is Japanese. I think it was a British guy, perhaps, who may have uh, created this here puzzle. But nevertheless, here you have it. And they have the answers in the back. I don't necessarily check my answers in the back because once you have, once you, I'm sorry, there's a plane going by and I'm outside. So I want to kind of wait till the plane go by. But once you have checked all of these here rows, then there's no need to check in the back. Again, remember, we need one through nine in this box, and this box, this box, this box, this box. So there's nine boxes. All of them have to have the numbers one through nine. All of the lines have to have one through nine. And all of these way have to have one through nine. So again, let's go ahead and let's begin to count. So you see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine so this your box checks to be fine that roll is checked out to be fine so you have one two three four five six seven eight and nine again that roll checks out to be fine you have one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine you have one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so all these rows have the number one through nine but we're still not quite done yet because all of these here numbers going vertical also have to check one two three four five six seven eight nine and for the sake of the video i'm going to go ahead and do those as well so you have one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five uh let's see oh six seven eight and nine and let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight nine we'll go to this row here and as you can see that is a one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine so you can see so all my numbers checked to be right but then you have one last final step so although they checked out to be um horizontal and vertically they both checked out to all have only one number per row one through nine so now but you have what they call three grids i guess is what they call these little small boxes each box can only contain one through nine. And we're gonna go through it a little slow with you. So you see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as you can see, all three ways in which we can count across, crown and check our puzzle checked out to be five. There are one through nine numbers, one of every one through nine number going horizontal, vertically and in each box one through nine we have just completed number 25 level which is a medium level it's supposed to be not so hard sudaku as spelled s-u-d-o-k-u sudaku puzzle i finished it i like to put my name here miss samaya i like to put the date and I put a training puzzle. I didn't put the time in here because it took us quite a bit because this is for explanation and instructions and how to uh, go ahead and complete this puzzle. So no, I did not put the time. So we have just finished the first puzzle. Uh, it would be um, good if you start off with the very easy ones first. These are very good brain exercises. This is good. This if you you go out and you work out all day, you go to the gym, you work your body out, you do your mind, body, and spirit when you do your um, what do you call that when you do your meditation and all of that kind of stuff. Well, then this is another um, sector of your life that you should incorporate as well, um, and this will be the puzzle any type of puzzle it's a brain um workout a brain exercise so don't just do your your physical body workout do your brain body workout and speaking of a physical body i got up the last two days and i ran for about an hour so i'm gonna see if i can continue that on a daily basis. so this is that's my i do my uh, mind body and soul so this could be part of your mind go ahead and do your brain stimulation uh, workout this here, I just a puzzle I picked up at the dollar store. You see, I paid two dollars for it. It was a three puzzle in one. You can get these anywhere. Some of them are really hard. When I first started off, there was puzzles that took me two days to do. So some of them can be quite hard. So start off with some of the easy ones, and you too, I'm sure, can do these. Challenge yourself, not just with puzzles, but challenge yourself in every area of your life. If it's motivational speaking and you fear that, then run towards it. Don't run away from it. Run towards all of your fears. If whatever it may be, if you want to open up a business and you're afraid to step away from your 9 to 5 or 30 years, then you may have to just maybe simultaneously do it. But go ahead and just put it out there. Just do it. You know, you have to run towards your fears and not away from your fears. Life has, uh, life sometimes it's kind of backwards. The majority of the people to me sometimes are kind of backwards. So my whole understanding of life and problem solving and different things is completely different from everybody else. Most people run away from which that, that they fear and I run towards that in which I fear. I do it for many reasons. Like I said, if it was motivational speaking, I'm challenging myself. You know, when I, I remember going to Toastmasters, and I was so excited because I won the table topper. But I got up there and I just started talking, you know, and I was just like, that was a milestone to me, although for some that may have not been anything. But to me, that was huge because that was my biggest fear is to get up and start speaking. So now every chance I get, I speak it, even like with today, just making this here video, I am working on me. I'm a piece of, I am a piece of work in progress. So... Satan may have taken my life on one end from the beauty industry. He may have taken all my clients and prevented me from working on one end. But then I found something else. I have other hidden talents that I didn't know about that Satan has forced out of me. You see, so all is not bad. All is good. So I thank the creator of the universe for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I pray that all of you guys can do the same. Play the, poly the Pollyanna game. 
and find the good in every bad situation. May you continue to be blessed, and may you this help you deal with any situation or problem or anything that you may be going through. I pray that my words can help you. Again, enjoy your day. I hope you're having a blessed day. Love you as always. Samaya.